in the morning of the 27th of July. A pilgrimage with His Holiness is always a great experience. His Holiness never fails to share his ideas of happy living and he never hesitates to exhibit in his simple manner the practical aspects of spirituality. We interviewed pilgrims from all over the world and the organizers of the pilgrimage about their own experiences. Almost all of them felt that it was the most precious moment in their lives and looked forward to the next pilgrimage with His Holiness, the 12th Gyalwang Drukpa. Again, 12 years, the second Narapa ceremony, I wish everybody okay. Again, we come. <laughs> it's very important devotion. Then, holiness keep teaching the devotion, then spare, no problem. It's been very tough and very enjoyable. It's, I think it's stretched us all in immeasurably, much more than we thought it would. We thought, I think, a tiny bit of holiday, but it was um, definitely a full, full-on pilgrimage. It's very extreme, like this <laughs> surroundings that you have here. It's extreme: hot, cold, dusty, wet. 
and it's very intense at the moment, so it needs a lot of digestion. I found it's it's really very great. It's really great, you know, to have his holiness here and to have Naropa's teaching and yeah. Oh, I feel very blessed and very happy deep in the heart. Oh, I feel very good, you know. The Naupa pilgrimage was quite a success. The Naupa ceremony is such a great blessing. So if you look around, you see only smiling faces and everybody's happy, so I'm happy too. Such huge group, you know, you can only be grateful to His Holiness because without His Holiness blessing, it's just impossible to manage such a group, organize everything. So I only feel grateful about His Holiness. That's it. Oh, it's quite uh, good. Very nice. Everybody is happy in Ladakh. People in Ladakh are very happy. Yeah. The Naropa pilgrimage, uh, it's, it's really wonderful, very inspiring. Uh, for me, it's the, third, the, the, the fourth pilgrimage with His Holiness. And uh, I think one of the most inspiring pilgrimages because it goes back to a uh, long history of our lineage. And uh, it's, it's, it's very rare to be able to uh, attend to such a ceremony. It's a lot of blessing. In general, I can say I feel very blessed that uh, I've been here, yes. Well, this is my first pilgrimage. It's a very good experience for me in a way that uh, opened my eyes. It's a lot of things that uh, without following this pilgrimage, I, would, I won't be able to see. So in a way, I see a lot and I learn a lot. And I'm very happy that I have been through the whole pilgrimage. To me, it's beyond feelings, because feeling is something that's just impermanent. But Naropa's blessing is long-lasting, so it was a great, great blessing. And uh, I don't know from His Holiness what I could hear, what I could see. It was really beyond, yeah, beyond temporary thing. I think I really gained something, long-lasting. I think which will lead me to enlightenment, so I'm very grateful. Oh, it's very great, and um, I would never expect it would be so well organized and um, so holy that it will make you feel, uh, you, you, you don't think about anything. I don't know why, but you just, you think that you, you can drop out anything that uh, you just want to stay. Either that maybe you have a lot of things behind, but it's still, I want to stay. Yeah. Although it's kind of difficult weather here, high attitude here. Once I have been going back to lay, and I think I cannot miss it, i coming back again. Yeah. Thank you. It's very nice. Lalupa, good, good. Wisdom open. Come in, come in. Very good. I'm very glad that I have a, an opportunity to to come here, which is very precious. And even it is very tough. And it, it will be in my memory forever. And I'm wishing for the next, next, next Naropa ceremony. Good experience. <laughs> Powerful. I feel very grateful. For me, it was one of the most uh, special experiences and blessing experience for the people. I'm really blessed and really in peace with myself, and I have seen one of the most miracles happening in the world in this place. Uh, the pilgrimage for me has been the most amazing experience of my life. I'm very grateful to be here, and I don't want to go home. <laughs> I'm very sad that it's over. And that's it. I just hope uh, that His Holiness's work keeps extending and extending into the West, because West really needs a divine incarnation like him. The pilgrimage was amazing. Just to be here was the mountains, the nuns, the, His Holiness. Everybody was beautiful. It was. I uh, can't get this experience anywhere else. This is like untouched. Uh, this whole place is like holy, you know. I, I can, you can't put it into words what you feel here, but the, to be in Ladakh, just your whole 
everything stops. Everybody was so friendly and kind, and you don't find this in the West. Everybody was a beautiful people, beautiful people. Very holy pilgrimage. We felt very fortunate to be able to, to be there at that special time with His Holiness and uh, all the Sangha, international Sangha, and all the Ladakhi people. We felt very fortunate and so grateful to His Holiness. Thank you to His Holiness, thank you to Lama Naung for organizing so, such a beautiful pilgrimage. Thank you. I love the Ladakh people. I see Julie. <laughs> Julie. 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 And we're all so very amazed And all the sights are strange While we're riding above the river below With our hearts in our hands And we're all so very pleased to be In old Tibetan lands Whoa, we're all on our way Whoa, up to the town of Lay Whoa With the drooper in the sky, with the dragon in the sky, well the dragon and the limeys and the king of the dark, we've all come too far for to turn back. We know speed and safety, they will never meet, but that no one ever reads the signs at twelve thousand feet. Whoa, we're all Whoa, up to the town of Lay. Whoa, up where the eagles fly. Whoa, with the drukpa in the sky, with the drukpa in the sky. High up on the mountain, down in the valley deep, we are the dreamers, you waken from sleep. In to your heart you call us to stay and realize the wisdom of the middle way Whoa, we're all on our way Whoa, up to the town of Lay Whoa, up where the eagles fly Whoa, with the drunk with the dragon in the sky, with the dragon in the sky, with the dragon in the sky. of sorrow. May all being not be separated from the bliss that is sorrowlessness. May all leave attachment and hatred towards those near and far by living in equanimity. 
Romani pe me
Oh, <laughs> 